Aiden Young Segudis reporting for Scobuff Sports. And far from the glitz and glamour of football games and NCAA championships, CU has a wealth of other clubs and sports and games that people get, that students have been getting involved in for decades. One such club that we had the opportunity to come visit was the Taekwondo Club, which this weekend hosted a scrimmage for the entire Colorado area. We got a chance to talk to the coach as well as the players to learn more about their club and what Taekwondo means to them. No, Taekwondo means everything to me. We're just a bunch of people that love Taekwondo. I love doing it. It means so much to me. The companionship and working together um, has really been a big bonus. Uh, so today we got together with three other colleges, which is Metro, DU, and University of Northern Colorado. And so we hosted it and we got to get together and perform Pumse, which is forms, which is like a lot of kicking, punching, blocking. And then at the end we got to do sparring and we started at white belt and we went all the way to black belt. And it was just really fun. We got to cheer on everybody and meet new people. and. Some people, this was their first time ever doing like a tournament style competition, so I hope they had a fun time doing it. Sparring is usually like a minute 30 or two minute round with a 30 second break or a minute long break. Um, and then you do usually best of three rounds. My name is David Lee. I'm the head coach of the University of Colorado Taekwondo team. David Lee has been the head coach of CU's Taekwondo team for 12 years. He first took on the role as a graduating senior at CU and since then has built one of the largest Taekwondo clubs in the state. Together, the team has claimed numerous national championships, world leagues, and title games. The main purpose of the team is to compete for a national championship. So we had a couple athletes on the black belt level uh, win national championships and qualify for World Collegiate Games. So a couple of us just came back from Merida, Mexico from the FISU America Games where we actually brought home a silver medal and Team USA um, actually appointed me as one of the sparring coaches so I had the privilege of coaching all the athletes from different universities on that Team USA. So um, that's our main focus is to compete but it's also kind of an area where we take a lot of pride in providing a community for people to meet, um, have friends and kind of really stress through like a really fun sport um, and have leadership opportunities on campus as well. The journey to a black belt is very unique, I would say. Yeah, I've been doing Taekwondo since I was seven. Um, that's all my life. Like, I've, I've, I've trained to go to international competitions. There's a lot of blood, sweat, tears that I've put into this sport. So I did Taekwondo with my dad growing up. I keep on doing it for him, and I just love meeting the people. That's the main reason why I keep on doing it, is for everybody else. We have a huge campus, which is beautiful, but I think with the size um, comes a little bit of um, difficulty in connecting with a lot of people on a meaningful level. And so, yeah, we're about competition, we're about learning the sport and improving everyone's physical and mental capability, but I think most importantly the thing that we really offer is a community. Um, everyone here is like family, um, everyone's here for the same reason, and, and sometimes it takes a little bit, but people find that everyone here has the similar values and they're all here to make friends. Um, and that's the thing I think that we're most proud of. Um, it's not the championships, it's not any of that. It's we're really, really proud of the community that we've built here and we continue to um, try to help people who also might be looking for something or somewhere to belong. Can I get a Sco Buffs for the camera? Yeah. Sco Buffs. Sco Buffs. Sco Buffs. <laughs> this is Aiden Young Scootis reporting for Sco Buffs Sports. <laughs> 